In these last gray days of winter, we are aching for the sun and we want to brighten up our homes. Of course, paint is a good option, maybe a sunny yellow, but there are lots to choose from. So Sharon is here now to help us make the right selection. Sharon, I love that we are talking about yellow because it's a color that I think a few years ago, most of us would be like, uh, no, not in my decor, right? <laughs> Absolutely, Tracy. You're so right. We're seeing so much of it now, and I think we kind of need it. We need that cheer and that optimism. And actually, we're going to be seeing even more of it. I know Benjamin Moore has two yellows in our 2021 forecast. We've got Beacon Hill Damask and Chestertown Buff. And of course, Pantone is named one of its colors of the year, Illuminating, which is a really bright yellow. So we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of it. But it is also hard to choose the right one for your home because it can be so diverse. You can go from those really pale yellows to the bright ones to the more ochre. So it's really important that we that we think about how we're going to use it in our space. And I am going to talk to you about that because it is so tricky. Now, Trace, I sent you down three chips so that we have the same um, big chips of color. So we're going to take a Goldilocks approach and pick the right one with a cushion. So we'll pretend this is our whole big sofa and we're trying to pick the right sunny yellow to bring a little bit of sunshine into our home. So if you take a look at the brightest one, Trace, it's banana yellow. I like it. But let's see what it does with the cushion. If you can see the brightness, it's very clear and vibrant. And this cushion is a little bit more of a natural linen color. So what happens if you put that behind the cushion is it kind of makes the cushion look dull and, and almost dirty because this is so bright. So you know what? In this situation, we're not going to use banana yellow. <laughs> so let's look at a lighter one. This is actually one of my favorites in uh, the historical palette, Beacon Hill Damask. It has a really nice sort of grayed green tone, which I personally like. But when I put it behind this cushion, which is a bit more on the orangey side, that greeny gray tone, it sort of fights with it. Let's ditch this one for this time. And then let's look at the last one. So, so Trace, this one's called Chestertown Buff, and it's a richer sort of gold tone. So I know my husband and daughter were calling it brown, and it does have a lot of brown, but it is still in the yellow family. So when you put it up against this cushion or the sofa, it really pulls out that more orangey golden tone in there, and it really makes the natural linen feel fresh because it complements it. So I would say Goldilocks would approve of Chestertown Buff. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure any of these colors can work in your space in different ways depending on what you're dealing with and depending on how you're pairing it, right? Absolutely, it's all about the pairings. And you can see banana yellow with a lot of white, like this crisp white kitchen. It's the perfect vibrant accent for that. I mean, wouldn't you love to see that when you come down for your coffee in the morning in your kitchen? So it's graphic and, uh, and a nice hit. Now, Beacon Hill Damask in a bedroom is just gorgeous. I really love how it almost envelops the whole space because it goes right from the wall up over onto the ceiling. And changing the sheen a bit with an eggshell, you can sort of see how it even helps to brighten it up even more around the space. And then I also have Chestertown Buff in a more formal foyer. So it pairs really nicely with those darker woods, the sort of walnut color of the wood and the black iron. So it's a more traditional feel and just feels perfect in that space. Gorgeous spaces. Now, I'm sure there are some viewers at home thinking, I do not want to paint my walls. If you don't want to commit to that, what do you suggest? You know what? I get it. And now that I've had all of these wonderful props in my house with my sort of boring beige walls now, they're <laughs> going to be painted. Um, but you, there's lots of really fun ways that you can bring yellow in with your existing decor. So Ikea was kind enough to send me all of these wonderful accessories and furnishings. So you can go right from the floor. They've got this new rug. It's an indoor-outdoor rug, so can't wait to see that in the spring. But of course, a Van Gogh sunflower, right? You can't go wrong. Artwork. And of course, cushions and throws and chairs and then I love this new wardrobe door that Ikea has it's a high gloss so it's very modern feeling but you can imagine this in your hallway or your laundry room or certainly your bedroom and then painting things like pieces of furniture is also a great trick so if you wanted to paint your vanity and in a bathroom or again in your laundry room this is marble head gold and it can look pretty awesome and just give you that hit of color that you that you might need without painting all of the walls Great tips and suggestions there, Sharon. So yellow is one way to brighten up a space.